Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So this is a new style of video that I just thought about doing the other day and that is consign with me slash what are you packing. So I am going to be going to Minnesota again this weekend with Ryan and so we're obviously going to be getting a lot of things thrifting to resell as we always do. And so I thought I would go through my posh and be extremely picky and get some things sent off to the real real, basically as much as I could come up with. And I thought I would show you guys what I'm packing to send to the real real, just in case you're going to be sending packages or you'd like to see what kinds of things I send or what kinds of things you can send, blah blah blah. And I have like 25 things here at least. And I already sent, um, like, 12 or 15 yesterday. And I'll show you what I'm sending. Now, some of this wouldn't be on their current designer list. If you've seen my other Real Real video, which I'll link below, you can send things that are not on their current designer list. And there's kind of a trick on how to do that. And also, I will link the Real Real below if you don't have an account and you see some brands that you have a lot of that aren't selling for you and you'd like to send it to them. You can make an account and you can consign as well. Yes, yeah, so let's just jump into what I'm sending. Okay, so first we've got this Theory. I'm not in the best lighting. This is like a mustard yellow. It's a like silk and linen sweater. Now this does have a decent amount of likes for me, but it also just hasn't sold yet. And so I'd rather just send it off to them. This is Cupcakes and Cashmere. This was the first I've ever found of this brand. This is new with tag and it did retail at 100 But I did see that they have quite a few things by them listed. This is another theory. Now I do not know what of these things is on their current designer list and what isn't. I don't really check. I just kind of know some of the brands that they've taken from me in the past, some that they haven't, and then I also just kind of like search the brand and see if they have any listed for on their website. Another theory, that one is Cashmere. They recently took a theory from me so I know for a fact they will take those. And then this is Hot or Hot Hippie. This is new with tag. It retailed at 145. And these just haven't been selling for me or don't have many likes. Or like I said, I've just had them for long enough that I'm willing to hand them off to someone else. Now this stuff is already basically ready to go, but I am going to take it out to show you. And I filled out my list. You fill that out, you put it in the box, get a free label, and send it off to them. Very easy. This is Weekend Max Mara. They I know for a fact they take that one. This is Club Monaco, which I have not sent to them before, but they do have it listed. I didn't check their designer list if they currently say they're taking it. This is like mohair mixture, so pretty luxe. This is also Club Monaco. Club Monaco is very trendy right now because like the new princess or whatever is wearing it. But these couple that I'm sending in I feel like just aren't that cute, whereas I do have one that is very cute and has been getting a lot of likes, so I'm not going to be giving him that one. This is Vince. Now I swear my mom has sent Vince in before and they declined it, but I sent two Vince in on my last package and they took them both. So yeah, let's hope they take this because I do have a few Vince in here as you'll see. So this I put in this little bag. It's actually a real, real bag that I've gotten from them. But I wanted to protect these. These are these sunglasses and they are Swarovski, like the crystal company. Um, I did see they have a few Swarovski brand sunglasses listed. So fingers crossed they'll take that. 
this they have actually declined a few times. I wish they would just take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a long, long, like, maxi dress, and it's handmade, and it's actually diesel, and it retailed at $428. So this is, like, really expensive. I just... It is really nice, and it actually feels a lot nicer than it probably looks like it would, but I just cannot sell it. It's kind of a strange piece, so... This is Bailey 44. It's this cool dress and it zips and it can become a crop top and a skirt. Um, they do have Bailey 44 listed on their website. They do not list it for very much. So if you're going to send them Bailey 44, only do it with something you're willing to like profit $20 on. Also, they're dropping their commission percentage to 40% on February 1st, which is extremely extremely disappointing but whatever I guess this is Alice and Olivia this I know for a fact they're going to take it's cute but for some reason it's just not doing that good for me this is again Vince it's like a boat neck t-shirt. Oh. That's what that one looks like. Just pretty basic. I'm sure they'll mark that one pretty low, but again, I'm just trying to get a little bit for these things, and like I said in my video, I like to just use the real real to like shop for nice things so I don't have to spend my money on things for myself ever. This is Hot Hippie. Again, it's new with tag. Retailed at $145. i am like, I basically know for a fact they will take Hot Hippie. This, again, I know for a fact they're going to take it. I've actually sent the same thing into them before. I just happened to find another. This is Torn by Ronnie Kobo. This retailed at $313. I got this at Marshall's, I believe. And... I saw someone list this exact same one as Anthro, which I don't know if that's true. Maybe Anthro has sold him before, but I couldn't sell it. This, I'm sure you can guess if you know your brands already. This is M by Missoni. That was Mike choking on a bone. These, I think, are so cute. It is these two-tone... Joie shoes. They retailed at like $200. They will not sell for me, but I think that's because they are a size 5. They're pretty tiny. As Ryan said, poly pocket size. <laughs> and a lot of you like that. Um, but every time I've sent them Joie, they don't take it. So, I don't know. Try again. We'll see. This is another Club Monaco. As you can see, this is not the cutest thing. Kind of strange. It's Italian yarn. Ooh -hoo -hoo. There's one Vince sweater that I'm not going to take out of the box because it is a pug hair like vacuum. And I literally spent like three hours pulling out every single pug hair from it. So I will not be taking that out. But just know there's, gonna, there's another Vince sweater in there. So these are Versace jeans. I was so excited to find these, but no takers. So, But also, again, I'm pretty sure they're just teeny, teeny, tiny. So that's probably part of it. This was my first and only pair of Vince shoes. And usually Vince shoes are extremely expensive, and I think they do well. It's probably just because these are not the cutest. They're just like espadrille sandals. Now this brand, I am not guaranteeing they take. If you want to try sending it in, they've taken one from me before. It's AG jeans. They're purple. 
colorful and printed denim slash jeans just don't do well and so those only have like three likes for me they're actually from anthro but yeah they're just not doing good this is new with tag it's tanya taylor it's kind of a lesser known luxury designer this i know retailed at 395 for a skirt which is crazy to me. This is a pair of current Elliot jeans. These are really cute, actually. They're kind of like raw hem. So I don't know why, but they just have not been doing good. So I guess they can have them. And one more besides the Vince that I'm not going to take out of the box is another pair of Club Monaco. So I'm really hoping they take Club Monaco, but I have never sent it in, so I'm not sure. These are men's like mustard pants. This was my first Club Monaco thing I ever got. And it actually was a host pick, but still host pick does not guarantee a sale at all. I've had a lot of them. But that is all of the stuff that I am right now going to be sending into the real reel. You get a label that can have any size package, any amount of weight on it, but if you do the slip thing that you fill out, like the one I had, that's up to 20 items, so I think 20 is probably the max per package. But yeah, their shipping label covers any weight and size. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more like this, and if you want me to kind of like update you on what they send back, and what they take, and what they price it at, what it looks like on their website, whatever. Because we could make it into like a little series where you kind of follow these items along with me. Just let me know. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment and all that fun stuff. And yeah. See ya.